Hello there, in this video we will go through how to set up a Water Dog Pocket Edition proxy with backend servers of Nucket and Pocketmine. First of all, make sure you've got a server running the Water Dog proxy egg and you've got two other servers or more that you want to link to it. Then click on the Water Dog proxy server, go to the file manager and open config.yml. Here you'll see a list of settings that we need to configure. First of all, under the servers, we want to change the name of it to lobby or whatever you want it to be. And then we want to go to our lobby server and copy the IP address and port of the server. Go back to the file manager and in the address section, paste the IP and port. If you have a domain, you can paste your domain here followed by your server's port. For example, a subdomain. Now I don't want a subdomain, so I'm just gonna keep the public address the same as the normal address. Then we are going to want to copy the lobby server template and paste it in here. And my other server is a survival server, so I'm going to change lobby to survival. These names can be whatever you want and you can have as many servers in this list as you want. You can add as many as you want, but I just want two for now. So I'm gonna keep it like this and then I'm gonna copy the IP and port of the survival server as well and change both the addresses to that. The server I want people to join first is Lobby, so I'm gonna change the priorities to Lobby and the backup server is gonna be just survival. To allow more players to join, you can change the max players value here, but for now, I'm just gonna click save content and I'm gonna start the proxy. There is still some work we need to do on the backend servers. If your backend servers are running Nucket, click on the server, go to file manager, server.properties, and set Xbox auth to off. Save the content and start the server. For servers running PocketMy, click on the server, go to file manager, go to server.properties, and also disable Xbox auth. Then you can start the server. Now we will test that the connection works. Copy the IP address and port of your proxy. Then you can set you can connect to the server using the IP and port in Minecraft Bedrock and click join server. As you can see, we are in the lobby server here. To allow players to transfer themselves to a different server with the slash server command, for example, slash lobby or slash survival. You need to go into the config.yml file and find permissions underscore default and you need to add the waterdog.player.transfer permission node in there. Click save content and then restart the proxy. That will allow players to transfer between servers with the slash server command. So I'm already connected to the lobby. I can connect to survival which is on Pocketmine. If we go to the Pocketmine console you can see that I've joined the server. And then we can go back again and we can go to lobby and we're back in lobby. This is a very basic Waterdog PE setup. Thanks for watching and thanks for using Wither Hosting.